second circle this is in addition to what was required um, this is an extra so we've got two we can end up with two three meter circles and uh, this will create a split level effect basically and we're going with the lie of the land so it's a gradual process through the garden well it's here it's monday morning and uh, we're back at it we had to shoot into cardiff this morning to uh, get our uh, paving from our local supplier and uh, it's the mountain grey so we've picked that up and now then we went to Juicens and we picked up some sand and once again they overcharged me but Richard's going to deal with that um, tomorrow it's no problem at all um, but we're here we're back on the project and it's great when the weather's mild and uh, it's dry and you're able to make good progress it's so important to make good progress but you won't make pro good progress in inclement weather conditions. So you need to tell your cons your client that if the weather's not right and it's not right for paving or whatever you're doing, just tell them, just be clear and uh, even drop them an email just to let them know. Just don't say it verbally, say it in an email. It's, it's evidence. Okay, so what's this is Justine Green, seven MPs of design. See the shingles for the log shed or not? Hmm. Larch, cedar, very nice. Well, I'm in the uh, the log store. Just want to give you an update. This is the area that I wanted to finish off today, and uh, I returned back to the suppliers, and uh, they got none left. So I have to wait next week, so that's not good at all. Bit annoying really, but what can you do about it? It's, it's done. I should have bought it yesterday. I should have measured it up correctly.